Are you in such a hurry that you're missing shared experiences? Are you so rushed through this so-called life that you're not stopping to smell the roses and enjoy life's experiences with your kids? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go ahead and do another five minute chat and continue the discussion that we had about atmosphere and how creating the right atmosphere or a positive atmosphere can help build bonds and relationships and strengthen foundational trust that hopefully has been built or to help strengthen um, foundational trust that may have been broken and you are trying to rebuild. Having an atmosphere that allows everyone to grow is very important. But today, I wanted to just talk about are you giving your children the necessary time that they need from you in order to bond? Are you making the bonding experience effortless? Are you in a rush? Are you missing out on shared experiences? Are you so much so, so much so, are you so busy that you are missing opportunities to build trust and loving, long-lasting relationships between you and your children? I know life can be really busy as mom, you may be an entrepreneur, you may be a full-time or part-time employee of someone else, you may be a work-at-home parent, a stay-at-home mom, you may um, be involved in a lot of extracurricular activities outside of the home for your children, you may be ripping and running from one, one place to another because of all the activities that various children may have and they're all on different schedules. You yourself may be involved in a lot of organizations or activities. Do you find yourself to be so busy that you're missing shared experiences between you and your kids? If so, take a step back. Breathe, reflect. Write down what are you so busy doing? prioritize those things and then ask yourself literally go down the line and ask yourself am I cutting myself short in terms of giving my all or giving um, myself to my kids because those things that I have written down are they more important am I so busy in this so-called life with work chores cooking cleaning taking care of um, children, you may be even taking care of um, a parent, a grandparent, or a loved one. You may be a caregiver. Whatever creates that busyness in your life, take a moment, breathe, reflect, and prioritize all those things. While doing that, remember that you have to give yourself grace and patience and you have to give everyone else who's involved in your life and who's involved in all those varied activities just as much grace and patience that you give to yourself also keep in mind that life brings various seasons and the seasons that life may bring may come with a lot of obstacles or it may come with a lot of situations that may require a lot of your time and energy. But remember that those things are just in seasons. And once you pass through this season, may it be short term or long term, it may be a season that will last for a week, a month, a year, or even three. Regardless of what season you're in, step back, take a deep breath, and reflect and ask yourself whatever I'm doing is it creating such chaos or is it creating such a busy schedule that I am not allowing myself to be present 
for my children, to be present for my significant other, spouse, or loved ones, to be present for myself. Think about that. And if you are missing shared experiences or shared opportunities with your kiddos because of the hustle and bustle in life, involve your kids in the different things that you do, okay? For example, you have a lot to do in terms of household maintenance and management, right? You don't have to clean yourself or all by yourself. Allow your children to participate in the process of cleaning and cooking and running errands and doing various activities for you. Allow your children to build upon those good habits that you have hopefully been training them in. Allow them to help you with your habits. Here are a few examples. You're doing laundry, allow your children to help you. They can put laundry within the dryer, move it from, I'm sorry, um, put laundry within the washer, move it from washer to dryer, from dryer to couch or wherever else it needs to go. Little ones, toddlers can help fold towels. Yes, sometimes toddlers can be a nuisance and they can be an inconvenience and an annoyance sometimes, especially when you're in a rush and you have things to do. But sometimes, guys, we have to slow down and be intentional about creating opportunities to allow our children to be around us and for us to be present with them and allow them to participate in shared experiences and allowing yourself to um, participate in those shared experiences as well. So I want you to walk away from this video with a few things. I want you to literally write down all the things that's taking up your time and energy. Write them down on a sheet of paper. I want you to see them. And then I want you to prioritize them. What must be done? What can wait, you know, later? And what doesn't necessarily have to be done but I want it to be done. I would like for it to be done, okay? Those are our three categories. A requirement, it must be done under any circumstances. I have to do this. The next category is, it's a requirement, but it can wait. And the third one is, it's not a requirement. It's not a need. Um, I would like for it to happen, but it can wait a month or two or three or even six, right? prioritize those things and then I want you to think about how much effort you're actually taking to do those things is there anything you can remove from that list is there anything that you can reprioritize is there anything you can delegate to your children or a spouse or someone else okay it's okay to delegate you don't have to do everything yourself mommy you don't okay so once you do that, then I want to ask, and then you want to ask yourself, am I missing out on shared opportunities with my children due to all of those things that I've written down? How can I be more intentional about involving my children in my daily activities so that I can be present and they can be present and we can use it as a learning opportunity and also habit training? I hope this video was helpful. I hope you found at least one thing that was useful. Please share this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment, and tell me what do you do in terms of making sure you're present with your children intentionally. And if you find yourself being too rushed or hurried due to all the day's activities, what commitment will you make to yourself? As always, be blessed and make it a great day. Bye.